You will drown in eternal night. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another Mortal Kombat Mobile Challenge video. Here we have Combat Cup Johnny Cage Challenge back. He was around the last time in April 2021, so not that long ago. But since the release of Combat Cup Cassie Cage, they brought now Sonya and Johnny Cage's challenges back. And here for this one, we will need Sonya Blade or Goro to go through the final tower of the elder difficulty of his challenge and as usual I've prepared the teams this time we will go with two and here is the second one and then we will be switching over to the first one which one we will be using to start this challenge like the first three matches will be played with this team let's get into that one directly Oh yeah, and the restart required thing is still around. Fix your game, MK Mobile. Well, at least it didn't take long. And now here we have the first match versus Shirara Yutakeda opening with Tigra Fury Goro combo ender. And special one is blocked. Takeda is out. And next is Treacherous Tanya. She eats a special one and she's out as well. Tag to Combat Cup Sonya Blade, followed by a special one. And that is already the first victory. You will die with honor. Impressive. Moving on to the second fight, and here we have Cold War Sub-Zero. Once again, we will just start with a few basics here of Goro, Combo Ender. Ah, retaliation by Sub-Zero. And Special 2 by Goro. Is it enough? Yes, it looks like... Yep. Uh, Cold War Sub-Zero is out. Next, we have Tactical Sonya Blade taking on Hattrick Kong Lao. Let's use the block break function here. And he is out. Combo Ender by Tactical. The special one will always connect after the combo Ender, so victory. You will die with honor. Well done. And then moving on to the third fight, Cold War Sonya Blade. Once again, starting here with Goro's basics and the combo ender. Now we reach the special two. The next combo ender lets break her ice shield with a special one. Another special one takes her out. Tag to um, Combat Cup Sonya Blade, timing out Marksman Kungjin. Special one versus Classic Sonya. Now another one versus Marksman Kung Jin, and that's it. Now get lost. Well done. And now since we will switch over to the next team, I will just go there. 
but collect my quests quick in between. This way we will avoid the problem with the online save failed. I don't know why they don't fix that stuff because it's been around in the game now for quite a while and so far nothing has changed. Maybe or hopefully with the next update they will take that point on as well. And let's uh, collect here that second quest and then right after that we jump straight back to the challenge mode and continue with the second team and finish the challenge against Combat Cup Johnny Cage. So that's into the tower, the team is loaded, fight, and here we go. Then let's start now, here we have Strike Force Scorpion. Directly the tag to Classic Goro, starting with a special one. I want to take out Scorpion ASAP so that he will not be able to save any of his teammates. And now the flexing. Oh, by the way, that is also back. A special one here by Goro. There was a time when you were able to block after the special one, but that is also no longer the case. Goro has become a lot worse once again because just after that time that he needs to pose. But now the special two of Cold War Sonya takes out Treacherous Tanya for the victory. You will die with honor. <sighs> well done. And on to the next match here, we have another Cold War Sonya. Let's go back to Goro. And let's do the same thing again. Special one. And I really liked it so much better when you just could interrupt his flexing. In this case, it was kind of okay because she was not taken out by that attack. But as soon as she would be knocked out, the next incoming character, as you see here, immediately gets a free hit just because Goro feels the need to do his flexing. Special 2 now takes out Classic Reptile and Ravenous Molina is the last remaining opponent. We block the Special 1 and immediately counter with our Special 1. And that's already it. You will die with honor. <laughs> well done. And we reach the boss fight against Combat Cup Johnny Cage. Now we will just hopefully try to get him down with Classic Goro. And we should not use any combo enders or special attacks, otherwise he will just interrupt us with his football stuff. But here we are already at the X-Ray. Let's execute Johnny Cage just the way it should be if Goro faces Johnny Cage. That should be how the fight looks. And it's, of course, a victory for Goro. Well done. Unfortunately, challenge mode also nothing changed because we have no new challenges, so it's just a sell back once again. But uh, therefore, we get a few extra souls, which comes in handy, especially for Black Friday, hopefully, when they drop some good packs no idea if there will be anything good but one can still hope right so i think black friday is now away less than a week and we will then see 
what comes next in terms of packs and maybe we can get something for Fire God Liu Kang or MK11 Nightwolf, nobody knows. At least we have now the Fatal Tower of the Earthrealm Tower live, so both towers are up and I'm already starting to record the first videos, so match number 60 should be up soon. Thank you for tuning in once again, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. In case you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice just to make sure. And if you want to support the channel a little further, please consider joining the Patreon family of KC Mobile Gaming. You can already do that with as little as just one dollar a month. And also follow me on social media like Twitter and Facebook. You will find all the necessary information in the description below of every video. If you want to see more content, then why don't you just click on one of those two videos here. Thank you for your support. Have a good one. Casey over now for today.